What is going on guys? Today we have got Nightmares. No, not Kent, but we have got Trial Ray. The 89 rated striker who's coming in at 1.5 mil. Honestly, this card is filthy. It's got physical, it's got pace, it's got decent shooting. Dribbling wise, it's impressive bar from reactions and composure. 80 composure for a 1.5 million player. It is a little bit sketchy, but what you're paying for is the name. Troy Ray is absolutely rapid. Obviously, he did have himself his gold, which is a 79. He's got a freeze, which is a left back at 84. And then he also has this 89 rated striker with five star skills, four star weak foot. We've got flair as the trait. He's just going to be a monster up front. I feel like... He's going to be more speed than anything, and he's going to be agile to an extent. Passing-wise, looks, I'm not going to lie, poor to some extent as well. 85 short, 64 long. And the reason why I kind of criticise that, even if he is a striker, is that he has come from a, a midfielder point of view. Like, obviously, he's come from a right wing. Yes, he's not got the greatest passing on that as well, but... I expected a little bit more of a kind of an overall feel. Obviously, crossing is fantastic, but he's a striker in this. I'm going to hopefully be seeing a lot of goals from him, which you never know. We'll see how it goes with him. I feel like he will be pretty decent. Um, I think, well, what did he have prior to this? He had, so he's a 5-4. Now, uh, he was a 4-2. Now, he's a 5-4. So, a one upgrade on the skills and a four, two upgrade on the weak foot. And overall, he's just going to be a speed demon. That is what Troyori is. He's fast and he's got the strength of everybody. So let's jump straight into him. See what Troyori can do. Back into Troyori. The pace of that acceleration. Noya with the save. Again, I can already see where this card's going. He's going to be very, very quick with that acceleration. And then he's just going to unleash shot after shot. I feel like he's going to be more... It's going to be... Oh, that's beautiful. Get the finesse. Oh, that's a great tackle from Larm. I feel like it's going to be more um, the amount of shots rather than the kind of consistency of them. I feel like he probably will take a few to actually get it in to start with, as a lot of strikers do, to be honest. Once you get one, that's when suddenly it becomes so much easier. Into Troy Ray. It's interesting. It, it just feels dead weird trying to use him as a striker. Cantona again in for me, though. Hour. It's going to find it into Triore. It's a lovely ball that Triore manages to kind of get the physicality, but it does manage to keep going with it. Can we find him back as we get tackled again? Cantona into Kaka. Where is Aura? Into Triore. We've got Van Anholt, rule breaker. It's going to have to head it back knowing how fast he is. Into Triore. We've got Kaka on the back foot. Obviously, the big bonus as well, that's unlucky, the big bonus of Troy Ray in them sort of positions when you are kind of playing one up, one up front or something like that, and maybe you do need to kind of just run to the corners to, to kind of get away from the opponent, is the fact that he has got that crossing ability as well. As we do find the acceleration and pushed, there's no way. Honestly, this guy's getting very, very lucky with that. Troy Ray finds an hour. Who's going to get the shot, and it's a lovely partnership uh, play for them too. Troy Ray doing the dirty work there. You can just see the strength element of him making the Dalfoot birthday look like mincemeat into Troy Ray. Maybe not. He's going to have the strength to deal with it. It's the pass back in. Kaka's going to try and go. We've absolutely binned him off. Doesn't manage to get past him though. Into Troy Ray. Find that ball across. Ariola's going to take it though. Troy Ray trying to run here. Going to find him again. He's got very, very good pace down this wing here. Gets the ball in. It's out with a touch. And it's a goal. Lovely partnership again. Their second assisted goal and assist. Troy Ray taking it back, but doesn't manage to follow through with it. Troy Ray has got the open space. Gonna go across and why did he and why do they do that animation? Either just fall down, don't jump so that obviously the ball rolls away from you. Oh, he's twisted both of them. Poor defending at its finest. Gets the finesse. Thank you very much. Start to see a little bit more about him now. Try already. Oh, I should have probably tried to took a touch there. 
Troy Ray take it off the keeper and he's going to make him pay for that one. You do not mess around with your keeper there. It's just unheard of. You just slap it out. Troy Ray. Oh my God. How has he missed that one? All black with a lovely save. And he's going to try and get the head. Does manage to win it, but doesn't get the full connection to get it in the net. Troy Ray's through. Varane gets the touch. Oh, and Varane's going to be there waiting. I was hoping that he was going to think I was turning back, but he does manage to tackle me there. It's a lovely run through. Just a shame about his jumping. I don't know if that's like an animation thing, if it's just him, but it, it feels like he jumps really high over the ball for some reason. Into Troy Ray. Right foot. No, it's going to get tackled. It's a very, very risky one at best. Oh, Troy Ray nearly. Cantona's going to pick up the pieces as Troy Ray doesn't manage to fake shot away from the keeper. Troy Ray running past Varane. Finesse. Oh, he rolls it. Lovely stuff. You see it. And we finally get that rage quit at 5 2. We're going into the overall four Troy Ray then. It's an interesting one. Like, this is his freeze. So, if you look at the upgrade from him, obviously, shooting has had a huge, huge upgrade. And obviously, the defending taking a massive hit. 200k. So, if you did this one, would I say you want the upgrade in terms of a striker? Like, going from a left back to a striker, I would probably say no. I, I don't know if paying 1.4 mil, 1.5 mil is worth it for this player. And the main reason why I say that is because. It's it's very much like last year. So, for instance, if I can pull him up, his 89 last year, um, which actually does fit quite well, is the fact that, yes, he was the next level. 99 pace, did have a shooting upgrade, and, and was quite good because, obviously, the headliner was the big one. We did have the screen card from the very start, a couple of informs, but this one was going to be the next level one. But in terms of what he could actually do, his dribbling wasn't necessarily fantastic. <coughs> And I think it's very similar to this one. He's definitely better. Like, if you've used his 79, his 84, obviously 10 times better than them. But I still find that same problem that maybe the pace is too much for this card. And in general, he is a stocky build. He's genuinely a massive... He's a, he's a big lad. He's a very, very big lad. So in terms of FIFA, stocky-wise, he's not the most agile in his movements. Obviously, it takes him a little bit to move. His, his kind of left stick dribbling when he's standing still is fantastic. But the main thing you're paying for is that pace. Pace and the strength. So he does hold things off really well. And he does win things back really well. But I think for me, I would definitely be sticking him on the wing, going down that, that wing and just absolutely nailing it in. In terms of being a striker, he did well. He didn't do awful. Obviously, he kind of has moments where he was just phenomenal and the moments where he literally just couldn't hit a barn door. But with obviously the... Well, someone's put a shadow. I definitely didn't put that on. Finish was what I, what I was going to say. Is you do get the 93 shooting and then obviously the 99 agility, which is... It's almost like fake agility as such because you are getting that extra boost. But whether he actually feels like that, it all depends on his animations of running. And for me, he was very, very good. Just not worth 1.5 in my opinion. And I think a lot of people already went into this thinking that would you pay 1.5 for him? Probably not. There is a lot of players out there. If you are looking, for instance, for a striker, straight away I'm going to point you towards this Mane. 300k cheaper. Absolutely God. Even Vardy was quality. And 800k for a 91. Absolutely take it. Aubameyang. 1.2 mil with the chance to upgrade. Harry Kane. Yeah, no thank you. You had Giroud who is free. Cavani and SBC. You have so many strikers that, yes, maybe don't have the same stats. Maybe don't have the same pace. But in terms of actually scoring goals, will do either a better or the same sort of job. Overall wise for him, I think he was fantastic in what he could do. His pace was lovely. Strength was fantastic. Did manage to score, which is always good. His dribbling... It was nice. It weren't like top tier, but was nice. And his passing, it, it, it did its job. He did his job. But overall, I'm going to give him a solid 8.9 out of 10. For a 1.5 mil player, I definitely wanted more. But for the name, I can understand why he is so much. Obviously, being a 5-4, Prem, Spanish, Wolves, and obviously... Traore. It's a big name in FIFA. If, you, if you've played last year, you know who Traore is. But hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.